Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. We back, y'all. Another episode of The Gap. I'm your lovely or hated host, Kamal, a.k.a. The Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. And since I got the best audience out there, what should the best audience be doing right now? Well, let's get it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh -uh, Uh-uh, uh-uh. There we go. You feel me? And look, y'all, if they watching, at least they learning. And I appreciate all y'all, from the ugly to the beautiful and to the in-betweeners, okay? Now, for my tubers, YouTube been around since 2005. I don't need to tell y'all what to do to get the video or the channel booming. But just like the rest of the tubers say, I'm going to say the same thing. Like a sub. Sub a share. Share a comment. Comment a like. Y'all know what to do. Some of y'all smart out there, you feel me? Now, for my potters. I'm on Google Podcasts, I'm on Apple Podcasts, I'm on Spotify, and I'm on iHeartRadio. Across all those platforms, all you got to do is type in The Gap or Kamal Johnson Network, and bam, I pop right up, okay? Also, I'd like to thank my lovely sponsor, First Place Losers. The link to the shop is going to be in the description below. Y'all go check out the fire-ass garments made out of 100% Egyptian cotton. I guarantee it boosts your sex appeal up by, let's say, a 22%. And look here, if it look good on me, it's going to look magnificent on y'all, all right? Now, let's hop right into the topic. And today's topic, I'm like, oh, my God, man. We about to get into Geekazoid land right now. Yes, I'm part of Geekazoid land, too. But Jesus Christ. And I know y'all seen the GTA 6 trailer, right? I seen it. I was excited. I was ecstatic. You feel me? But I wasn't ecstatic what was coming with it. You know what's coming with it? There's people out there saying that, oh, GTA 6 is just woke now. It's too woke now. Man, there's too many black people in the representation. The protagonist is a woman. I think it's a trans woman. I think the protagonist is a, is a, is a, uh, is a black trans woman. you like, what? What? Tim Pool. Just learn about this idiot. Man, couple of others, you seeing it. You see the you see the titles of these YouTube videos? Oh, G2, GTA 6 too woke. Oh, it's too woke. How can a protagonist be a, a woman? Oh, it's too woke. Oh, they got DJ and women. Oh, Lord Jesus, I can't have it. <laughs> like, dog, I cannot believe it. Y'all are doing these think pieces and having these goddamn opinions like this about a video game. About a video game where you could literally fly a freaking car off a cliff, land it, and still drive on a highway. Hell, you could get shot with a bazooka and get up and still have some health and walk away. Hell, you could change your character into a walking zebra looking like a lion. What? And shoot a goddamn grocery store up. Like, it's fictional. It's fictional. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, Tim Pool over there with his old dweeb, dweeb the co host. Agreeing. Yeah, you're right. Like, you know, I don't even play the game GTA and stuff like that. But, um, you know, um, yeah, it seems a little woke here. You know, like, I can't believe the protagonist is a woman. Tim Pool, like, man, out of all the GTAs, I could never, I never seen that, like, a protagonist as a woman. GTA 1 had, had women protagonists, bruh, bruh. And this is my thing. This feels like the whole Little Mermaid thing where, you know what I mean, Chloe Bailey played and was like, uh, played a fictitious character. It's fake, y'all. It's not real. We talking about gigabytes, megabytes, other bytes, it's kilobytes, all that. It's fake bytes. It's not real. It's not real. Y'all just mad because now now it's more representation. 
in a video game world? Y'all mad because the protagonist is not a white man? Huh? Y'all was a little upset when San Andreas came out. Protagonist was a was a black man. Uh huh. Man. And it's like y'all making it seem like y'all not representing the game. Look at this, y'all. Representation. 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 I just told y'all nothing but white representation. I get it. It's Florida. Florida is crazy. The white and the black representation is wild out there. Look, this is our representation. 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 <laughs> it's in the game. And it's a trailer, dog. We don't even know what's in the game yet. You feel me? Midway through the game, they can switch the protagonist. Like they did in one of the GTAs. I don't know which one was it. The last one. Remember you was one character, and then you changed it to another character, and then you changed it to another character? There was a, a white man, a black man, and a, another trailer tra trash white man. God damn. Why am I making these stink pieces off this? Tim Pool? People watching them too and agreeing with them. It's stupid. It's asinine. And he got one point something million followers or subs on YouTube. Golly. Man. I mean, I'm part of the Geekazoid world, but sometimes I hate the Geekazoid world, man. What y'all talk about sometimes and what y'all be having gripes about sometimes? Man, I can't believe. I can't believe a fictitious game. Oh my lord, they represent us right. Even though they represented us in the last five GTAs. Well, one of them they didn't. The San Andreas one, y'all, y'all really wasn't. Y'all wasn't no protagonist. Y'all really wasn't in it. But the other four, yeah, come on now. Y'all crying and croning over it. Oh Lord. I can't believe they got a female DJ. Oh, they got black people with dreads and gold teeth. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's how it sounded to me. Y'all just crying over nothing. It's fake. You know you can make a you you know you can make a character, right? That's freaking purple. Orange. Yellow. Hell, I can make a human lizard. Do a cartwheel off a damn bridge and land on concrete while shooting a goddamn shotgun. It's fake. But this how they is. They they get it. They get it. See, this is why I tell my black Americans, my black people, imagery is so important. Because look how they fighting over imagery of something that's fake. That don't even exist in real life. We can't do half that shit. 95% of what GTA had to offer in the video game you can't do in real life. I see people somersault a goddamn car, run into a truck, do a freaking donut, and still freaking drive away. Being unscathed. But Tim Pool and these other dweebs out here complaining about, Man, the protagonist is a female. Possibly a trans female. Who cares? How do you... Cares. It's fictional. But you see how they even complain about imagery of fake things? From the Little Mermaid to this GTA 6 trailer? That's why it's important that we uphold our image as black Americans and black people. Okay? Yeah, we fight for our imagery. And we're going to fight for, for every aspect of every corner because they do the same thing. They do the same thing. And to some people that's gonna be seeing it, they'll be like, man, this is this is silly. How they gonna be all this saying this uh this is woke uh, uh GTA six and it's like, yeah, it's silly, but look it, they they really be about it when it comes to their imagery and their representation. And I hate what they did to the word woke. You feel me? I hate it. They say everything woke. Oh, a woman trying to be a trans a trans hawk. You woke. I remember when the word woke mean that like it was really in the black community. 
And it basically was saying like, oh, you're a conscious black person. You see, you read in between the lines. You see what's really going on out here in the world and you not sleep sleep to the fact that it's, you know, white supremacy, anti-blackness, and that you holding up black empowerment for your people. That's essentially what woke meant. Now, they done took the word, made it their own. Someone can't even explain what woke is. Remember that lady wrote a whole book about woke. And the lady was like, well, what does woke mean? She was, all up, all up, all up, what up, what up, what up. <laughs> like, bruh, why, why are you scatting, lady? They started skitting and scatting. Man. Now we got this dweeb with a reverse mohawk. Bruh, got, this is my thing, y'all. Fellas out there, if you, if you bought in, right, you bought in here. You got hair here. Just cut it off, man. Let it go. Let it go. It's over, dog. The glory days of having hair is no longer. Okay? Man. Yeah, man. I had to I had to bring this topic because I'm just like, it's really silly and asinine that they want to hit this. The GTA 6 trailer, of all things, the game out, the game don't come out until 2025. And they're saying it's all woke and all this, you feel me? And it's silly, but I want to bring this to y'all because I want to tell my black Americans and my black people, imagery is very important. You see how they fight over imagery and representation in the smallest, silliest things? So don't let them shame you when you fight for your imagery and your representation, okay? All right. All right, y'all. Y'all know a segment we about to get into. We about to get into the sad Seven. segment. And we made it, y'all. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. We completed it. The quadruplicity. <laughs> John Wick. The first one. Oh, I did him out of order, but who gives a damn? Oh, Lord. John Wick, the first one. We made it. We did all four of them. Ooh. It's an action thriller. It gave me what I wanted. I will say this one, out of all four of them, had the best in the mo it made the most sense of the storyline itself. Some things didn't kind of make sense, but it, it had the most cohesive storyline. You feel me? Yeah. And I thought this one was pretty solid. This was pretty solid, you know? Pretty solid John Wick. So before we get into the plot, I'm gonna give you the stats. And I'm gonna give you some of the cast, because god damn it, I done gave you Go back to the other John Wicks I review. You understand who the cast is? I don't need to name them all. I'm just going to name a few. Okay? Now let me give you the stats. IMDb gave it a 7.4. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a uh, 86%. Wow, the people gave it a 90%. Uh, IMDb score kind of low, so F them. But the rest of them, I gave it kind of that, that 85 to 90%. I thought this was really solid. And with this one... You feel me? John Wick actually just murked people with regular things. He didn't use a card. He didn't use a pencil. He didn't use a book marker. He didn't use an air freshener. He didn't use nothing crazy. He just used guns and he just whipped the ass with hands. Okay? This is like the most realistic one out of all the whole series. Okay? So let me give you some of the cash. Y'all already know Keanu Reeves is John Wick with the stick. You feel me? Ian McShane, you know, he winced in. And then you had uh, Lance Reddick, R.P. to Burbra. He was Sharon. And then um, let me give you some of the antagonists. So one of the antagonists was Alfie Allen. He was uh, Lossoff Tarasoff. I mean, he wasn't that. Also Tarasoff. I'm tripping. Yeah, he was also Tower Stuff. Bro played in Game of Thrones too. He was also another uh bad guy in Game of Thrones. And then another bad guy, Michael Nakavis, he played Vigi Tower Soft. So and many more played in John Wick. Did they roll? You know, incredible acting. You already know the deal. I don't need to tell y'all any more. Alright. We know it's great acting. You know what I mean? Storyline be cool, you feel me? So we're just gonna hop right into the plot. And basically the plot it starts off. 
John Wick loses his wife from like a heart attack or something. Um, yeah, lost his wife, his best friend, love of his life. You feel me? So he kind of in in a, a state of grief and disarray. And his wife was like, "Man, I got you, dog." And that's what she gave him a dog with a nice letter, a cute ass dog. Y'all see this dog? Cute as hell. You feel me? Gave him a dog. And then, you know, he started bonding with the dog. And I will say this. I mean, the the antagonist, you know what I mean? Also, they killed Bird Dog, but let's be real. John Wick almost killed the dog his damn self. How in the F do you give dog milk and cereal? What? Bro, I almost sprinkled some chocolate in there. I'm like, God damn it, John Wick. You gonna kill the dog before it even before it even get a chance to live. You just got the dog. How are you feeding it cereal with milk? Bro, you about to have his stomach bubbling. You're gonna mess up the dog tummy. God damn. <laughs> but then um John Wick, you know, he went out, he just went out to go get some gas, doing everyday thing. Dog came with him. He had a nice ass Mustang, 69, I think, to be exact. And then this when also character came in, and he just came in and like do what typical stupid bad guys do. He looked at the car, I was like, "Yo, car nice. How much is he?" John Wick is like, "This ain't for sale." And then bro was like, "Okay." Then they start speaking in. I think they're speaking Russian. Why would y'all not have subtitles? I don't understand that shit. Every time they spoke in Russian, I'm like, "Oh Lord Jesus." Here we go. Another movie that has a different language that don't have subtitles. Some beef went on when they were talking. I'm like, bro, I don't know what they saying, bro. What the hell are they saying? But then, like, one of the other characters was like, bro, come on, let's go, bro. At least he feel me leave, bro, alone. And then, you know, John Wick went back to the spot. They fall into the spot. Whooped his ass. And you did, they did the one thing you don't do in front of John Wick. They harmed the dog. Oh, Lord, when they kicked the hell out that dog, I knew John Wick, the assassin mode, went into play. You feel me? You know, they beat the hell out of, beat the hell out of John Wick. But he, he saw when his dog was dead and they put it right next to him and stole his car. Oh, uh, it was over. Oh. They killed the dog. Damn. I think John Wick would have spared him if they left the dog alone. But they didn't. Idiots. Why even harm the, the dog ain't done nothing? Just just rough him up a little bit, steal the car, leave it like that. Nah, they want to be ultra tough. And then, yeah. Then they took the car to John Leguizamo character played by uh, uh his character was Ariola. They took it to him to the chop shop. John Leguizamo hit him. Bye. I was like, get this car out of here. You feel me? He helping out John Wick and stuff. And now our bird's going to find him. He the boogeyman now. It's like, hold on, bro. You didn't see the thing was people always try to say, oh, the plot of this movie is that he killing people because they killed his dog. I mean, I mean, surface level, but really they lightweight killed his wife. His wife gave him that dog so he could grieve and have something to remember her by. And so he could just grieve in peace. But nah, they wouldn't disturb that. So he came in like the Grim Reaper, whooping all they ass. And then Vigi, he's the he's the dad of Osof, and he told he whooped his son's ass and was like, Bert, do you know who you messing with? You messing with John Wick. Bro, I seen him kill three people with a pencil. And from the eraser end, he didn't even kill him with the lead end. He killed him with the eraser in. And bro tried to call John Wick. He's like, bro, can we buy guns? Be good, buy guns. John Wick didn't say a word. And that's when Bird knew. It's like, all right, well, now we at war. And yeah, John Wick was just whooping ass, whooping everyone's ass. Suit was bulletproof. You feel me? He got shot. Bow. He, I'm coming up. He was whooping ass. They went in this little club. He whooped ass. You feel me? John Wick was was kick ass Wick in this one. I like the way they had the fight scenes in this one because it it felt way way more realistic. 
You feel me? He he hot snap somebody I'm like God damn. Oh, I felt that. But yeah, and then also when it come to Winston character, you in, 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 uh Lance Reddick character, he goes into the hotel and this hotel is for assassins. You feel me? You pay the coin. You feel me? And then also, he was about to get assassinated by this one woman. He whooped her ass. You feel me? And then the reason why they're starting to assassinate because the the uh, veggie character he put a hit on John Wick and basically was like, "Yo, it's two, it's two million, two million, two million." You feel me? And um, yeah, people was after him, but he whooped everyone's ass. And his one homie, you feel me? Played by uh in Bruh the Green Goblin. I know Bruh's the Green Goblin. Where the hell is he at? Where's Green Goblin? Where's Green Goblin? They even had Dean Winters in this too. You feel me? Damn, I can't find bruh. I can't find bruh. But bruh that played the Green Goblin, right? Uh in that movie. He was in this movie too. And he got hit up by Veggie and bruh was like, yo, bruh, two million killed bruh. And he didn't. You know why? Because him and John Wick is partners. And then they do the same thing that you never do with John Wick. They killed his partner. And it, you feel me? I was like, all right, it's on now. You know what he did? Whooped everyone's ass. Murked them all. Blackout, blackout. Bro was taking all types of punishment. Yeah, John Wick, you feel me? He fell off another freaking two-story building or somewhere in the mall. I don't know. He falling, getting hit kicked and all that and he's still murking everybody and at the very end killed them all off literally went to the shelter and that's when he got his one dog pit bull you feel me got him out and that's the end that's it man he's in the john wick too yeah i enjoyed this one this wasn't like goofy like the third one or some of the fourth one. And it had a good amount of action. Number two was the best one in my eyes because it had hella action. I told you, it had like 30 minutes of gunshots. I was like, God damn. This one, though, storyline was a, a little bit better. This one had the best storyline and it had the most realistic fighting scenes and, you know, action and stuff. So, yeah, we did it, y'all. We did all four of them. You feel me? This was John Wick. I saw this on Tubi. You know what I mean? And look, y'all. We done. Now we got it. We're going to get to another movie next week, okay? You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Y'all know what segment we about to get into. We about to get into the sad Meantime. segment. And today, I got some juicy memes for y'all. You feel me? You know I got the John Wick meme. Come on, y'all. And it got with John Wick with the stick. Bow with that shotgun. With the scope. And it reads, my name is John Wick. You killed my dog. Prepare to die. The plot of John Wick in a meme. I mean, it is. It is what it is. That's what, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Even though, like, real talk, the dog was more of a symbolism of his wife that died. That kind of, this is more fun. To say he just murdered a whole platoon of people for four movies straight. Because of a dog. That's funny. Alright, y'all. You know what I mean? We talk about the GTA and these these uh some of these people out here saying it's too woke and they all mad and butthurt. And we got one guy, I don't know who the hell he is, but he looking and got Peter Griffin like and you know he got the, the shades of color and then got the ultra white, yellow white, other white, it's okay. But when it gets to the dark skin it go, not okay. To the color palette. Uh-huh. Yeah. Y'all saying GTA 6 is too woke. Y'all see the trailer. We know what y'all trying to say. We know what y'all trying to say. Y'all trying to hide it with the all oh, the protagonist is a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know what you trying to say, bro. Too woke. Got another meme, y'all. And he got some, bro. He, he look like he a streamer for sure. He like, oh, Lord. Why? GTA, why? Why don't you have representation of us being a good guy hero as always? And it says, GTA 6 has a female lead. Bottom. Anti-SJWs. And those are social justice warriors. 
And then, oh, the white dude like, oh, I can't do it. I can't take it. It's like they they head about to explode when Tyro B- Bigsby, remember in Dave Chappelle's skit, and he pulled off his KKK hoodie and they found out he was a black man. That's how these, that's how they are. They head's about to literally explode from their damn body. Because they want to say, the female leader, we saw a lot of black representation in there. We get it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Woke my ass. It's a video game. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for tuning into the show. You feel me? This is another episode of The Gab. I'm your lovely or hey host, Kamal, a.k.a. The Black Seinfeld, a.k.a. Magic X. And since I got the best audience out there, what should the best audience be doing right now? Well, what you waiting for? Let's get it. If they watching, at least they learning. And I appreciate all y'all from the ugly to the beautiful and to the in-betweeners. Now, from my tubers, YouTube been around since 2005. I don't need to tell y'all what to do to get the video or the channel booming. But just like the rest of the tubers say, I'm going to say the same thing. Like a sub. Sub a share. Share a comment. Comment a like. Y'all know what to do. Some of y'all smart out there, you feel me? Now for my potters. I'm on Google Podcasts, I'm on Apple Podcasts, I'm on Spotify, and I'm on iHeartRadio. Across all those platforms, all you got to do is type in The Gap or Kamal Johnson Network, and bam, I pop right up, all right? Also, I'd like to thank my lovely sponsor, First Place Losers. The link to the shop going to be in the description below. Y'all go check out the fire-ass garments made out of 100% Egyptian cotton. I guarantee it boosts your sex appeal up by, let's say, uh, 32%. And look here, if it look good on me, it's going to look great on y'all, all right? With that being said, we about to be out, y'all. Peace. Man, that goddamn Geekazoid Tim Pool talking about GTA 6. The trailer is too woke. It's fake. It's a video game. Damn. This was good. This was good. Ooh, yeah.